Hi all of you. I hope all of you are having a good day. This is Ali. I'm back with another video and the purpose and the aim of this video is uh, to update you regarding my progress in MR camp. So I am working as a medical officer in emergency medicine and recently or maybe not long ago I started or I decided that I'm gonna uh, take this MR camp examinations towards progressing my career as a specialist or a physician and uh, initially I got a setback uh, that I was not able to clear this exam and I was really disappointed and I would also share with you today uh, why I was not able to clear this exam and how you can not do what I did and you should be able to clear this exam on your first attempt and it's really possible for you to do it as well the same way I did and my goal is for you guys to understand that it is possible if you are just working as a general practitioner or you're working as a medical officer you're just floating around in different departments and you have not been able to find your passion and you do not know which career stream you want to be following or going into let me tell you emergency medicine is something really really uh, ex interesting and it is really I'm, I'm really excited to be part of it because it really brings the best out of me and because especially when I started initially as a medical doctor I always wanted to be uh, a physician I did not like surgery I wanted to be a physician then there came a stage where I only wanted to be a surgeon I did not want to be a, a physician and there came a stage in my life where I was offered a, a surgical residency to be exact neurosurge and there were a lot of things that happened and I was not able to uh, get into the program and I did not proceed with the program uh, and then I was still just doing uh, emergency medicine so eventually eventually I stumbled upon and I ended up being in uh, emergency medicine and I decided that I'm gonna go into my specialization or specialist pathway and ended up taking these examinations and it was really worth it. So now let's get to the main agenda for today that is uh, how we can clear these examinations with the shortest time possible. What did I do and what you can do I believe that would help you as well. So initially I wrote this exam in 2019 uh, this to be exact around May 2019 uh, I wrote this exam and I was not able to pass this exam I was working full-time and I did not spend enough time on the exam or preparing for the exam I roughly prepared only two weeks and I scored around 80 85 and the passing marks were 97 so yeah I only prepared two weeks scored 85 passing marks were 97 I failed I was really disappointed and I told myself I am NOT gonna write this exam ever again because I should have passed in the first attempt and I could not have been more wrong so that was it anyhow I just uh, forced myself to write this exam again and this time it was in uh, December 21 20, December 2021 I wrote this exam after preparing for three months uh, I prepared religiously and the resources I have mentioned in my first video as well I only studied from one resource which was MR Chem primary and the website is MR Chem success I studied it for three months what I did was uh, the question bank has around 2000 plus or 3000 plus questions and I did the questions every day maybe 100 questions every day or 50 questions every day and I finished the QBank uh, three times over the course of three months and but before I att attempted my uh, MR Chem primary I was scoring around 70 to 75 percent marks in each each time I did the questions on the question bank uh, and this question bank I did online I did not have offline PDF versions I, I believe those are not really helpful and it does not monitor your progress and you do not uh, 
monitor yourself as well so if you purchase their subscription i believe it's really worth it uh, rather than you failing the exam and then you have to rewrite the exam why don't you just buy their subscription in one go and hopefully inshallah you will pass the exam in first attempt so i believe it's really worth it so this was my first att uh, second attempt uh, for mr chem primary and i was able to pass it but to be frank this is the this is the time when i really prepared for it i gave it three months studied uh, four to five hours every day did did certain amount of questions every day that led me to finish the q bank three times and i was able to pass it so after this i thought okay the difficult bit is done because primary is all about studying anatomy physiology and uh, pharmacology and it's it's so much preclinical stuff that i thought i would never be able to but uh, because i studied the questions a lot a lot uh, initially i was able to pass and now was the easier thing because i believe internal medicine surgical bit clinical aspect of my life is always more comfortable i feel i'm much more uh, i'm better clinically than i am preclinically my theoretical knowledge is better uh, when it comes to clinical this is what i thought i had no idea what i was getting into so when i started studying for mr chem uh, intermediate or sba uh, i used the same formula i bought the q bank i just bought the subscription for three months and i studied the same way i studied primary every day i would do certain questions and i would study almost five to six hours every day and i do 100 to 50 questions every day and this time around it was easier since the mrcam intermediate q banks uh, has around um, maybe 1700 questions so the questions were a lot less that is because uh, it is so nicely organized that mrcam success have taken the syllabus of MR Chem Intermediate and they have broken down each topic and from each topic they have put in certain amount of questions which are really high yield. So if you go through their questions and you read their topics, basically you are covering all the SLOs. The, for me, it is really complicated for me to uh, uh, personally go to the website of uh, MR Chem examinations and check out their syllabus and see SLO 1 has what topics, <clears throat> 2 has what topics and go through each topics and then go through read each topic. It is extremely tedious. I did not have the patience to do that. Uh, that's why I did not do all thick big books. It was really not for me. I, I do not like reading a lot of books. I like to study or read through high yield stuff which is gonna be more important when we go to the clinical aspect of our practice. So what I did is I go to the, I went to the question banks, I read their topics, I revised, revised, and I ended up doing their Q bank again three times. And then uh, by the time I finished the Q bank again, I was scoring 70 plus percent each time I did their questions. Now, I thought I was prepared, but around one week before my MR Chem Intermediate exam, I ended up, it, it, was, it was a total uh, accident that I stumbled upon a Telegram group. It is led by Dr. Honey. Uh, and then he, uh, I mean, I don't know who Dr. Honey is, what he's been doing. I just ended up being in that group i don't know how i stumbled upon it i was just surfing through some stuff ended up being in that group uh, and then it was like one week before my exam and then everybody apparently was whoever or the reason when i was in the group i came across this post like the number of people who have uh, entered his group has you know almost 80 percent people are passing the exam and and I thought it's worth a shot. I mean, how much, what am I, what, what do I have to lose? I mean, uh, one week before the exam, the subscription fee f from four, 500 USD was almost more like 100. They were offering, you just pay $100 and you join the group. It might not help you a lot because you're just joining at the last moment. I thought, what is the, what can I lose? I mean, it's just hundred bucks. You just join and let's see what is there for me to find out. I mean, 
because I'm already prepared. I'm, I'm just going to be end up repeating the questions that I have already done. Maybe I should join. So I ended up paying the subscription, joining the group uh, and I and he added me to certain groups. And in the group, I found like he had almost two to three thousand questions in the Telegram. And then uh, he, he messaged me that if you can do all these questions, it would definitely help you. They were not past questions or they were just random questions uh, about certain topics which are already mentioned on uh, MR Chem or Royal College of Emergency Medicine website. So believe me, in, during that one week, I ended up doing another 2000 questions. So I had already done 1700 plus questions three times. And then at just one week before the exam, I came across this group where I have another questions and other bunch of questions around 2000 which I ended up doing again within seven days so it was really it was really like a question boost that I did uh, so that's that was about it I ended up doing these questions and then I did Emma Cam success questions and around all this I did around six to seven thousand questions within this uh, three months and I then attempted attempted my exam, which is MR Chem Intermediate on 6th of September, 2022. And then again, I was able to pass this exam in my first attempt, which was, I mean, it really gave me an ego boost. Uh, ego boost in a sense that yes, I can, I can also, you know, succeed in emergency medicine. I, I was really happy uh, that I was able to pass this exam in my first attempt because a lot of people have been trying for many years to clear this exam and let me tell you the exam really surpassed my imagination when it comes to difficulty the exam was really really difficult not because the content that it had i had not seen just because the content it had uh, was so common and at the same time when i had to answer the questions all the answers were very similar and most of the answers I saw felt right. I mean, it's really difficult for me to choose the best option because most of the stuff I see can be right, can be done because it's emergency medicine. You only you you need to choose the order in which you need to do things. So sometimes the questions I saw, most of the options seemed correct. So I just had to go with my gut, what I felt was right. And maybe all those questions that I practiced, uh, you know, it, it became more of an instinctive uh, factor rather than uh, the knowledge that you acquire uh, from your theory. So I was, I was able to pass the exam this way. So, so just to summarize, if you want to pass your MR Chem primary and your MR Chem secondary, the most important factor is that you need to study MR Chem success Q banks. They are really, really uh, efficient and precise, high yield. Everything is there topic wise. And let me tell you, I have no affiliation with MR Chem success. Uh, they are not paying me to make any, uh, any video that I'm making the whole the, the whole reason or the reason why I'm making this video is that that Q bank has helped me and that is the only resource I have used uh, in order for me to pass MR Chem uh, primary and intermediate. And I believe if you wholeheartedly also study it and focus on your concepts, read the topics, you there is no reason why you cannot pass this exam as well. So I hope this video helps you uh, and remember me in my in your in your remember me in your prayers because my MR Chem OSCE I'm planning to take sometime next year uh, and that is the only uh, exam remaining before I get my membership so I am hoping to pass that as well hopefully in my first attempt inshallah so all the best whoever is watching I wish you very all the very best and if you have any question, as usual, you can comment or you can join our Telegram group, our uh, Twitter account. Usually we have spaces on that. We can discuss one to one, whatever stuff we need to discuss. You can join our Facebook. Uh, just stay in touch. 
uh, please keep helping each other keep encouraging uh, each other there is so much negativity out there uh, there is so much hatred out there just keep loving each other helping out each other i hope my video helps you guys even if it helps one person my goal of making this video would be fulfilled uh, all the best bye bye for now